Welcome to Shop the Stars, the celebrity interview show where nearly everything can be yours. From the set, to my outfit, to your favorite celebrity's product. Just click to buy. Today, Taraji P. Henson talks wedding planning, her empire, and her new hair care line. Now it's time to Shop the Stars. Taraji P. Henson is a boss on screen and off, from playing a trailblazing mathematician in Hidden Figures to her signature role as the raw and unflinching cookie lion in Empire, to running her own hair care line. Taraji can do it all. Taraji, welcome. Thanks for having me. So when you hear those three sentences, do you ever just sit back for a moment in your crazy life and say, I can't believe that this has all happened after everything I've been through? Sometimes. I do it sometimes, but I still, there's a big part of me that feels like there's still so much more for me to do, so I don't stay in that place too long. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I read that in 1996, mm -hmm. you had $700 in your bank account with mm -hmm. your five-year-old son, Marcel. And oh, you, actually, he's one. He was one at the time. He was one. And you moved to L.A. just saying, here we go. Yeah. What was that like? At 20-something, it was... I was fearless. You know, in your 20s, you, you're like militant. You're ready to take on the world. You have your whole life ahead of you. If I thought about doing it now, I'd probably be having a lot of questions, <laughs> doubts, you know. But when you're 20, fresh out of college, with your whole life ahead of you, I was fearless. And I read, I had the chance to read your book, Around the Way Girl, Thank and you, you were so raw and honest in it. Um, you had such a complicated relationship mm -hmm. with your father. Um, and such a beautiful relationship with your mother. But mm -hmm. you said you took so many positive things from both of them. Mm -hmm. So tell me about that. Um, my dad, regardless of what his issues were, he was my father. He was a stand-up kind of man, and he was always there for me. And he worked really hard. And my mom, too. Like, I, that's where I get my work ethic from. My mother, when she first moved, um, migrated north from the south, she worked in Woodward and Lothrop. Do you remember that mm -hmm. store? Yeah. Um, and she started by tagging merchandise in the basement um, to 20 years later having her own office with employees working under her. See, so I was around that. Yeah. And my dad, I, you know, he was homeless at one point, and he would still come up to my school and visit me and st let me know that your father is here. You know, I'm just on bad I'm down on my luck right now, but I promise you I'm going to get this. I'm going to get my house. I'm going to get my motorcycle, my Harley Davidson, and he did all of that. So I saw how a human could lose everything and come back. I saw how you start from the bottom and make it to the top. I lived it. I saw it. I had great examples in my household, so that's in me. <laughs> yeah, well, you said you were always a hustler. You always. said from the very beginning, and that's where you learned it from. Yeah. So is it true you were, at the same time, you were working in the Pentagon mm -hmm. during the day and then a cruise ship entertainer? Yes, and I was also <laughs> in school for a time. Yeah. What were you doing on the cruise ship? Singing and dancing. Hysterical. <laughs> you and have then, one here, Spirit of New York. It was the Spirit of Washington, D.C. And so, and then during the day you were working at the Pentagon? Yes. So that was a moment of impact. Another moment of impact, would you say a defining moment? Was that Cookie? Was getting that I role? Think so. Because I think so. You said that sort of like hurled you into superstardom when people well, were cookie, yelling cookie yeah. in, in different languages. Yes, <laughs> Cookie. I think so because for so long I had been told, you know, in Hollywood that, you know, black really doesn't translate overseas and black women can't really open movies over there and they don't really do well over there. And then my mind, I felt like, well, I don't understand how that's true because the culture is like black like you know what I mean like you're missing something something you guys are missing right. but anyway so I go for um we do press for Empire and we go overseas I didn't know television could take could even take me overseas because right. all of the big movies I did have never taken me overseas you name them the Benjamin Button um Karate Kid, the international films I've done I, they've never taken me overseas not even the con so anyway here comes Cookie, <laughs> right. and I go to Paris, and we screen the first, the pilot in the first episode of the first season, and Lee Daniels was on the stage. They were doing a Q&A, 1,500 seats, standing room only, French-speaking citizens. He go, they get to the Cookie questions. He said, I don't know. Why don't you ask Cookie to Raji? Before he could finish my name, the entire room stood up and started applauding and I got up there, and I thought they didn't know. I thought he, they thought they 
said he said another name. Right, you were like, I was like, wait, they know me here, <laughs> you know? And so I get up and it was kind of awkward and I go and they're like, Tadoshi, Tadoshi, and they're clapping and I just ugly face cry, right? right. I, it was the ugliest face cry and I'm so embarrassed. So that was your moment where you said, okay, this is, I I've was done like, this. I was like, they've been lying to me. Right. And then I go outside, French speaking citizens out there with all of my movie jackets and they, were, they wanted my autograph and I just, it's like, so Hollywood, you lied to me. Let's move on to engagement and yes. marriage. And we both have that in common. Got yes. engaged last year. How so. did he propose? It was Mother's Day. So he, it was the day before Mother's Day, which was my son's birthday. My son was in town. So he said, um, let's go out to dinner. I was like, okay. He said, my friend Ronald's having a party in the back room because it was her, his birthday too. And I was like, wow, we can kill two birds with one stone, do dinner, celebrate Marcel's <laughs> birthday and Ronald's birthday. Perfect. Wow, perfect. So we go to the restaurant and I noticed the waitress was very cheesy. She was just like, <gasps> <laughs> like overdoing it a little bit. <laughs> and just like everything. And I'm like, okay, okay, hi. <laughs> you know, and I'm thinking because she's fanning out, right? <laughs> we finish eating and we go back in the room and I hear a violinist playing our favorite song by um, Miguel. And I go, hmm, that's our song. I was like, I didn't know Ronald liked that song too. And I was like, wait, in fact, I didn't know Ronald was into like instruments and things like that. Violins, okay. And I turn around like Ronald's all dressed up. And then by the time I turn this way, he's already on his knee. But I was just putting the dots, connecting right. the dots. And I turn around and he's on his knee. And I just was, I just immediately said, <sighs> cried my lashes off. They were stuck on the floor. They looked like a spider. And uh, yeah, ugly face cried again. Oh, and is Marcella helping you plan the wedding? He's a boy. Guys don't. Right. I can't, my fiance's like, whatever you want. That's all I get from him. Whatever you want. This is another big year for you, turning yes. 50. Yes. So I know you said in your book you really embrace age, but is mm -hmm. there one thing you would say, all right, I feel this, or this is what 50 feels like? My or knee. Is it my knee and a, and a toe. A toe, like, I got to work my toe out before I put heels on. <laughs> but, but besides that, you're feeling pretty good, right? Yeah, Things are pretty well, good. Well, I mean, you know, I know that as women, there's this pressure for us to stay looking youthful and things like that and, and that's fine that's fine but what I don't want us to miss is the mental beat that happens because mm -hmm. when you're going through perimenopause or menopause even when you're in full-blown menopause there are things happening to you to your mental your psyche that you have no control over and sometimes you don't even know right. you're moody you're up you're down you it's a lot and and if I am to tackle you know mental health I can't evade that like right. I have to talk about that because I have days where I just cannot I'm just low so how do you cope with that oh god it's you know once I understood what was going on because at first I felt crazy I felt out of sorts I was like why am I always so dark and depressed and I duh. and so once I started talking about it I freed it and then mm -hmm. I was able to do the work I was able to talk to my doctor um, I was able to talk to my therapist and know when these moods are coming and what to do. You know, I'm meditating m way more than I right. used to. You know, um, there's still a lot of work to do because it's very new to me. And even with my fiance, things get crazy because he'll be like, wait a minute, you just said this. And he has to wrangle me and bring me back in. And it's like, OK, that thing is happening. You know what I mean? So it's like once you are informed and you know better, right. then you work on doing better. You're incredible because now we're going to talk about you actually came out with a line mm -hmm. that will go back to your foundation yes. and that support that you're trying to help other women. So yes. I know hair has been a huge part of your life, <laughs> your whole life, right? Yes, my whole life. Um, so for a decade, you've been working on this line. Yes, that we're about a little to over a decade. Um, I've been working on trying to get it to the masses for of a decade. But the first part of the decade, it was just for me because it was literally a problem that I needed a solution for. And I couldn't find the products in any stores. It wasn't out on the market. So I just had it to create it for myself. And it literally was just for me until um, I went on vacation with some friends and they had um, protective hairstyles in their hair and they were complaining about their scalps itching and they felt like, oh, it's not getting clean. And I was like, oh, try what I use. And they tried and they was like, oh, my God. Oh my God, girl, what, where do I get this? And I was like, light bulb. Right. That was the light <laughs> so bulb. So that's moment. when I got serious about bringing my dream to fruition.
All right, well, thanks so much for being here. Thank and you now for we're going me. to be able to go get it. And now it is time to shock the stars with Taraji P. Henson. And I know that this is a moment for you. Just look at this packaging, the names. I and mean, when you look down at this, are you sort of like, I can't believe this is mine? I keep pinching myself because, I mean, when I started this um, line, I was more concerned about hair scalp, the scalp, right? So when I took my formulation to Mesa, they expounded. And that's why I'm just so blessed that I had the right partners because they took my dream. That's why they are, it's so important to dream big because I was dreaming small. And they took my dream and they expounded upon it. I read that if you weren't an actress, you would have been a cosmetologist, totally right? I totally would have been in cosmetology. And I know hair has been authentically a part of your life. Yes. Because I read in your book that on Sundays you used to dread when your mother used to come out with the comb and try to get the comb through your hair. So hair's always been sort of your thing, right? Yes. So she just, a single mom, she didn't have the time. I had a lot, a lot of hair. So she just didn't have the time. And so she started perming my hair when I was six. And I didn't really fall in love with my natural hair until I moved to L.A. And then I got to the point, like, two years ago, whenever I cut, did the big chop. So I wanted to live with my, and, and natural hair was becoming a big thing. You know, everybody was embracing their natural hair. So I wanted to embrace mine. And so... I did the chop. And so now, here we are. And I think that's why people get, try to say, they think that this is a product hairline for natural hair because I did the big chop. Right. It's not. It's for everyone. <laughs> it's for and, everyone. And to prove that, we have three Yay! real women here today. So first, let's start with Joey. Hi, Joey. Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. How are you, Joey? Joey, how would you describe your hair to Taraji? So I would say that it is uh, tight curls. Mm -hmm. I do wear it natural. Mm -hmm. um, and so I agree with you in terms of finding the right product mm -hmm. in order to enhance the curls, but not look frizzy. Right. Okay, so which of your products here, we have some of them here, would you mm -hmm. suggest she use? Well, first I think we all, everyone can benefit from a scalp cleanse. So I'm going to take it from over here because it's not open. Okay, sorry. I know it's off. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. But um, everyone should start, before you wash your hair, you should start with um, a scalp cleanse. That's for everyone across the board because it's almost like you can't reap a harvest if you don't take care of your soil, right? It's the same thing with your scalp. You can't expect healthy hair if you don't have a healthy scalp. Um, so I would start with the Never Salty Exfoliating Scrub for your scalp. Um, this actually heat is heat activated, so when your scalp gets a little hot, it heats up the peppermint and the eucalyptus Ooh, and the tea tree, and so you can feel your scalp tingle, which no, which you know it's working. And right. it stimulates your scalp. So that's your tip, and, and what I love about that is the name, too. Yeah, and then you do the whole scalp care line. Okay, that's so for that's everyone. A, but that's for, for everyone. For but to care for your hair, I would use for you Make It Rain and um, <coughs> Honey Fresh Honey Shampoo. Fresh. I love the names, too. I could go on forever. I know. I love it. Because it's a protein, protein mask. mask. I know. You, I have to you should use the protein mask. Yes. Okay. I'm okay. to get a room. <laughs> okay. So now we have Lindsay. Lindsay, Hi, how Lindsay. would you describe your hair? Because your hair is like my hair. It's we get out of the thick. shower, and it's kind of coarse and a little mm -hmm. curly. Exactly. And it's treated, right? Yeah, yes. so because my hair is super frizzy and, like, mm -hmm. lots of curls, I do, like, keratin on it, and I just try to, like, manage the frizz because it's super frizzy yes. all the time. Yes. So, okay, what would you suggest? Serene Queen is the shampoo that you should use because it's gentle, and it would be very nice and um, easy on your blonde because I have blonde, too. So I have to, and this, your hair is going to love the protein gel. And after I shampoo with the Serene Queen, I would sit in this for a while, like, 10 20 minutes you can do it i usually just do finish cleaning up around the house you can cap it and sit under the dryer it's up to you and then i would finish it off with a um, make it rain make it rain make it rain conditioner you are going to love it oh did you come also, up with those names yes also probably a ride or die you look like leaving this is oh, really yeah. great you and your fiance were probably sitting around yes. saying what should we should we make it rain <laughs> as we're doing our hair i, I love the help. names okay yes. and now sandy, sandy how would you describe your hair so I have straight Asian hair, uh, but it's actually thick. I Very have thick. a lot of hair, mm -hmm. and um, I do feel like my my scalp feels kind of, you know, like build up mm -hmm. every day. So I actually end up washing my hair every day, and I blow dry it. Oh, every single day? Every day I wash my hair. Okay, so Dr. Taraji. Yeah. Okay, so then you would definitely benefit from the scalp scrub if, mm -hmm. scrub if you feel like build up. Um, and then for you, I would use the, um, if you wash your hair every day, mm -hmm. I would use Hustle & Co. 
because it's a, it's it's shampoo and conditioner. Because mm -hmm. if you're shampooing your hair every day, it's stripping. And so then every day you're having to put the moisture back in. Right. So if I were you, I would scalp scrub, and then I would do Hustle & Co., especially if you're washing every day. Oh, yeah, it. you'll love it. Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't sell you this yeah. stuff if I wasn't using it. And that's what's so authentic about <laughs> yes. it. And thank you so much thank for being for here and for sharing. So and beautiful. For more on TPH <laughs> by Taraji, go to today.com slash shop. And just so you know, today may make a small share of revenue from your purchases. And Taraji, before we let you go, we want to play Shop the Stars Closet Edition because I assume your closet is something else. Uh, I have a bit of a problem, that's for sure. <laughs> It is time to play Shop the Stars Closet Edition, Taraji P. Henson style. All right, it's our own little lightning round of what's in your closet. Okay. And beauty. All right. Beauty product you can't live without. Paul Sherry Moisturizer. Ah, no, TPH. Anything TPH by Taraji. <laughs> okay, other than TPH. Oh, that's right, you did say <laughs> other than. That was a good plug, though. Um, Paul Sherry makeup, um, a Paul Sherry moisturizing cream. Can't live without it. Okay, an item in your closet you have too much of. Chanel, but is there such thing as too much of? You know what? No is the answer. Okay, great. <laughs> um, going to Chanel today. <laughs> something under $25 that you love. Oh, I know. Under $25. Any, any, any undergarment. Tank. Tank. Spanks. It could be Spanx, it could be three people have them. We're all about. You know what I mean? They're the layers. It's like they come in turtlenecks, they come in sleeves, they come long, they come short. Got it, got everything. Okay, yes. something in your purse we would always find there. Caramex Lip Therapy. Okay. Favorite hair accessory? Which? Favorite hair accessory? Blings bobby pins or any kind of, see? Any, yeah. any of that? And just turn around that. for one second. Oh, yeah. You any have them of that all stuff. over. Okay. <laughs> Love that. Okay. Best splurge ever. My house. <laughs> in your closet. Oh, in my closet. Which is in your house. Which is in my house. Uh, see how I think, y'all? It's not just about clothes and stuff. Best splurge ever. My big, big, big Chanel bag. It's like I can fit in it. Thank you so much for yes, being here. Congratulations for on yes. everything, on turning $700 into <laughs> an empire. And don't forget to shop TPH by Taraji. Head to today.com slash shop. And just so you know, today may make a small share of revenue from your purchases. Happy shopping. I'm Jill Martin. She's Taraji. And we'll see you next time with more Shop, shop the, the Stars. <laughs> We're so glad you're enjoying Shop the Stars. And now it is time for my picks of the show because you know I love a good deal. So these are three things that I am obsessing over. All right, let's start with the Male Picks Yoga Mats. The retail is $100. What I love about these, it comes with the carrier, first of all. There are different prints, but you can put your favorite quote or picture, I have one of my fiance and I, on the actual mat. So I love this, and it's also a great gift. And wait till you hear the deal. The retail is $100. The deal is $25. That's 75% off. And again, it comes with the carrier. All right, moving on. These Clara Sun Wu leggings, Kathy Lee and I are obsessed with these because I have a couple of them. They pack perfectly. They are wrinkle-free. The retail is $83. Now, there's two different options. You can check them out on today.com slash shop. And what's amazing about these is they're a perfect length. So no matter your height, you can scrunch them up or pull them down to wear them with boots, to wear them with flats, to wear them with sneakers. They're super versatile and super comfortable and breathable, which you often don't find with um, these liquid leggings, these faux leggings. So the retail is 83, the deal is 49.80. That's 40% off for a great basic. And last but definitely not least, I feel like a lot of us buy, you know, pop items, wow items for our closet, but we often don't concentrate on the basics, the core products that you need. And often it's smoothing out a t-shirt. It's something you need underneath your wardrobe that makes it look perfect. So this is Commando Shapewear. Really great brand, really great quality. 38 to 118. There's different iterations. You can see it on today.com slash shop, but all different ones depending on the outfit you need it for. But you don't realize how many different versions you need until you have them. There are all different shades, so you can pick for your skin tone, so it's really clearly spelled out on the site. The retail, 38 to 118. The deal, $30.40 to $94.40. That is 20% off. And these are great investments in your wardrobe. So I hope you enjoyed my picks of the show. For more information, go to today.com slash shop. 
And just so you know, today may make a small share of revenue from your purchases. I'm Jill Martin, and thank you for watching Shop the Stars.